goes, the character wears a floor-length dress that's covered in a leaf print. She has... I remember her sister was stupid thick. Like, I'm talking about Ben and Jerry ice cream thick. <laughs> Prince, chill out, Prince. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Prince Charming. Today we got another kiss cartoon before and after 2017. I think it's, like, part six by now. So a lot of y'all seem to enjoy it, so I'm just gonna keep the videos coming, because, you know, I gotta entertain the fans. So this is actually titled Kid Cartoons Reimagined as Adults, so I'm guessing we're gonna see kid cartoons grown up, so kids cartoons before and after. So go ahead and comment, what kid cartoon character do you think was popular in high school, or will be popular in high school? Like, honestly, I feel my boy Dexter from Dexter's laboratory would be kind of cool because like he'll be like a nerd but like he'll be so cool because he has gadgets so like women will have to love him make sure you subscribe like comment on this video let's check out this kid cartoons before and after or reimagine as adults maggie simpson okay, maggie, maggie simpson is the adorable the baby, baby sister of the garden lisa she may not say much but she has a personality <laughs> that's a bit sneaky vibrant and full of life maggie was like low-key one of the real ones in the simpsons like she was like at the studio of the group right but like, she knew more than what she let on like Maggie Loki was slept on. In the long running animated series, hey, Maggie's hey, appearance hey, stays hey, the same. Hey, She's hey. always been a little baby, walking around the Simpsons family home wearing a nightie and with a pacifier in her mouth. If the Simpsons were a real family out in the real world, Maggie would already be well past her teenage years. Do you think it's about time the She'd character like received a grown up makeover? So do we. An artist named Vladimir did the honors of reimagining Maggie as an adult, and check her out now. She went from a tiny little baby to a businesswoman in the blink of wow. an eye. Her red pacifier has finally been retired, but there's one thing about Maggie that hasn't Maggie changed. Can you guess what it is? She's still wearing a blue bow in her hair, just like she did when she was a kid. Now that we've taken a good look at her, doesn't Maggie look a lot like her sister Lisa? They could practically be twins. The Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls are three crime-fighting cartoon characters Yo, with like, supernatural powers. There's show, Blossom, just... the leader of the crew. She wears a pink dress with a black belt around her waist and a huge red bow in her hair. Next up is Bubba. Bubbles. She's Bubbles. the sweet and innocent one of the group. She, she wears she a blue down. dress with a black we'll belt, and her blonde hair is styled in pigtails. And then there's Buttercup. She's a feisty tomboy. She wears a green dress, and she has a short hairstyle with some she awesome bangs that we love. Crew. Since what? the characters are children Don't most of the Buttercup. time, the show's animators decided to reimagine them as adults. Bro, like, the best episode of Powerpuff Girls, like, this is, like, the one I really remember, is the episode where, like, the rowdy rough boys, like, get bangers on. I don't know. They get created from, like, a toilet. I don't know how it happened. I don't remember the show, but I remember that was my favorite episode when they have to fight each other. Take a look at them now. We think the animators did a great job okay. at giving the entire group a grown-up makeover. As adults, Bubbles, they Blossom, and Buttercup still size. love their favorite colors, but their outfits have definitely matured. They're each showing off their bellies and sporting I some skin-tight hip-hugging pants. Do you think the Powerpuff Girls look better as children or as adults? Oh, Feel free to leave us a reply too. down below in the comment section. We can't Good. wait to see what you have to say. Well, Russell. Up. Russell from Up is the loud and inquisitive little boy who always he gives Carl a hard right. time. He, he can always be seen in his signature wilderness little explorer uniform. And little there's a lot boy. going on with his outfit. He wears a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and brown shoes. He also Talk wears a matching it, yellow hat, and he carries a backpack full of all of his most prized possessions. But there's one thing about his appearance that most people's eyes are immediately drawn to. It has dozens of badges that he wears proudly. Oh, we think Russell is absolutely adorable the way he is but we're ready to see him as an adult how about you well here he is it may look like not much has changed with russell but he has grown up in a major way his frame is a bit slimmer and it looks like he might be hiding some muscles underneath his yellow teeth he wears the exact same wilderness explorer outfit and he's still so proud of all his badges we actually think we might like the grown-up version of russell much more than the child version i've never seen the movie up um should i watch it like do i need to watch it uh let me know in the comment section how about you Stewie Griffin. On Family oh, Guy, Stewie Griffin head. is the one-year-old infant to Lois better. and Peter. Even though he's a baby on the like show, he's never, wise he's beyond his years. In his free time, he usually stays obsessed with thoughts of taking over the world. Since he already has the personality of an adult, Stewie don't you kind of think it's about right. time he looked like one, too? Thanks to an artist at the website Brightside, Stewie's childhood days are long gone. Are you ready to see him all grown up? Here he is. It seems like the hair on Stewie's head didn't grow at all throughout his life, but at least 
noticed he's sporting a little bit of facial hair on his chin. And as a grown-up, he still can't give up his beloved teddy bear. That Judging by dirty-ass teddy bear? Ugh! That must smell. It must be musty by now. Like, I know you don't be washing it. Do he be washing it? This photo, Stewie's obsession with world domination is something he'll keep with him forever. He's sitting in front of a red he button that could potentially around. spell doom for domination. the rest of us. Thankfully, this Ice is just a picture and not real life. Another awesome thing about Stewie's adult look is he's definitely twinning with Dr. Evil. Yeah, baby. SpongeBob and Sandy Cheeks. When you need a good laugh, all you have to do is turn on an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. The cartoon character is a bubbly and goofy yellow sponge who wears brown shorts, a tiny white shirt, and a red tie. His pal Sandy Cheeks is a squirrel from Texas. She has a pretty distinct appearance, and she's definitely not your average squirrel. SpongeBob and Sandy had to have been smashed. Like, there's no other reason. Like, she was like the only female character on the show, right? They never give my boy SpongeBob a love life. Like, you would think he would have a love life by now. He was never interested in any girl. That's crazy. It's SpongeBob. Hold on, SpongeBob. Do you like women, bro? Maybe that's not your choice. Maybe it's just because he's a sponge. She doesn't like anything. <laughs> she's a super smart scientist, and she's usually shown wearing her white oxygen suit. It control. has a Can't huge do. dome that surrounds her head and a pink flower to. attached to the glass. She also wears a pair of really clunky boots. It's hard to imagine these two as adults, but are you I'm excited to see how bite. artist Matthew Henry her. Ford redesigned them? Well, here they are now. I knew SpongeBob it. and Sandy are all grown up. Look at his square ass head, SpongeBob. Look <laughs> At least he grew into his body. Like, he working now. Spongebob, Spongebob got them Popeye forearms. I wish my forearms were as big as his. Like, I need, I need to start working out. And they look a lot Sandy different. Thick Spongebob well. must have been hitting the gym because he's sporting some it's huge so muscles. Hate. And Sandy still looks as they beautiful as ever. Mm. She's flaunting some curves that would drive any squirrel <laughs> nuts. Squirrel. Do you think these two look better as children or as adults? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. You might even get a reply from Bro. us. Agnes, Sandy. you've enjoyed this video video so far, you'll really love this next transformation. Agnes from the Despicable Me films is another animated character who definitely deserves an adult makeover. When you think of this character's appearance, so you probably remember her looking I'm exactly like looker. this photo. She wears a pair of denim overalls, a striped yellow t-shirt, and a pair of white shoes. Her hair is always in a very cute hairstyle. She wears a tiny little ponytail that sticks right up on the top of her head. Her face is so round and adorable. Don't you just want to squeeze her cheeks? But as we said, it's time for Agnes to grow up. Are you ready to see her now? Here she is. The artist at Brightside ditched the overalls. As an adult, Agnes wears... Why is she looking like you gotta take her on 12 dates to get in her pants? You gotta meet the whole family before and everything. But that's gonna be a good Christian woman. Like, that's gonna be... The, that's gonna be wifey material. Some low-rise jeans I that show that. off her toned tummy instead. She Mark. still can't get rid of her striped shirt, though. Know, and it's now been converted into a crop top. Her hair has finally grown, and she styles it in a high ponytail with some choppy bangs that perfectly frame her face. But as you can see, something about Agnes will never change. She's Even when she's all grown man. up, she still has a thing for unicorns. Oh. Boo! In Monsters, Inc., Boo is depicted as a two-year-old toddler. As a oh, child, her vocabulary is very baby. limited. The character can only say certain Look words, such as Boo and Kitty. Oh, yeah. And she can also I'm say the green me. monster Mike Wazowski's full name. Pretty impressive, right? Her character has big brown eyes, and her hair is always worn in pigtails. She wears a pink nightshirt, purple oh, leggings, and white socks. Now prepare yourself because we're about to show you an artist reimagined image of Boo as an adult. And here she is. How beautiful does she look? Uh, she looking like a goth chick. Like she, like she going to raise. <laughs> did she kill Soli? Is that like her, her, her scarf? Oh, Soli's dead. She killed Soli. She still has a thing for the color pink, of course, but she finally outgrew her toddler outfit. She now wears a basic pink t-shirt. And we're not too sure, but it looks like she made a fur coat out of Sully. Her face is yeah. much slimmer, but she's still has the same big eyes. What do you think of this reimagined photo of Boo? Do you think she looks better as a child or when she's all grown up? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Lilo. In 2002, the world was introduced Lilo. to Lilo and Stitch. Lilo is a six-year-old Hawaiian girl who's an eccentric free spirit. She's a very happy girl, but she doesn't always keep a smile on her face. She can also be a bit emotional when it comes to talking about her parents who passed away in a car accident. Watching Lilo cry really breaks her hearts. As far as her appearance goes, the character wears a floor-length dress that's covered in a leaf print. She has... I remember her sister was stupid thick. Like, I'm talking about Ben and Jerry ice cream thick. <laughs> 
Prince, chill out, Prince. Long jet black hair with short bangs. And she also wears a pair of sandals wherever she goes. We loved Lilo as a child, but we're really curious to see what she would look like as an adult. Are you ready to see how the artist at Brightside recreated her look? Lilo has blossomed into a beautiful young she woman, don't you think? She she's still wears the, the same hairstyle, but that's about all that has remained the same for her. She's that's now much that's taller, that's and she's got rid of the leaf dress. Instead, she, she wears a hula skirt, a tiny top, and a lay around her neck. She also wears a hibiscus flower in her hair. We think Lilo looks absolutely beautiful as a child, but we're like really digging her adult on. appearance. Can what do you device? think of her grown-up look? SpongeBob and Patrick Starr. We love SpongeBob so much, doing? we had to put him on our list twice. But this time, this he's back with his pal, Patrick Starr. Patrick is a pink sea star who's not only SpongeBob's BFF, but their neighbors, too. Like Patrick that. loves ice cream and any kind of junk food since he has a major sweet tooth. We Honestly, like, SpongeBob and Patrick, like, they, lo they love him more than friends, because... <laughs> Love how he's accepting of his body, and he's not ashamed to walk around with his shirt off. That's Patrick true. is usually seen wearing That's lime like green pants with purple accents. He has a really pointy head, thick eyebrows, and the biggest smile we've ever seen. Are you ready to see these two friends grow up together and become adults? Here they are now. Wow, what a difference. And our y'all can't be serious. This is Napoleon Dynamite. Like, y'all cannot be serious. Christine Dwayne reimagined the character That's in true. a very interesting way. Patrick finally decided to put some clothes on, and he's looking Good, the cowboy outfit. And who knew a sea star though. could grow a mustache? SpongeBob has out. also aged mm -hmm. a bit in his picture, and it looks like his eyesight has suffered throughout the years. He usually wears glasses when he goes jellyfishing, but now it appears he needs to wear them all the time in order to see. He also has an amazing head full of curly brown hair. Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer lives a pretty active life. She's Hell always yeah. out and about discovering and exploring. And never home, never doing her homework. Just always out with a damn monkey. What kind of monkey is this? How do you talk? What kind of world is Dora in, like, honestly? The name of the show, of course. The heroic character is shown as a young child on the series. She has short brown hair with bangs and big brown eyes. She is often seen wearing a pink t-shirt, orange shorts, yellow socks, and a pair of white shoes. Even though she's considered a tomboy, she has a love for jewelry, especially the flower bracelet she always wears. She received it as a present on her fourth birthday, and she never You're leaves four? home without it. Oh, Do you think Dora will four. finally get rid of her signature outfit as an adult? Well, take a look for yourself. The artist at Brightside created this stunning Photoshop image of the adult Dora. Even when she's all grown up, she's still a fan of the colors pink and orange. But for now, her top is a lot shorter, and her shorts are a lot tinier. We love that Dora's hair has grown out, and it looks really good in a ponytail, don't you think? As an adult, Dora's love for adventure hasn't gone away. You can see her scaling a mountain like a pro. We're just sad to see that she can no Better longer fit her beloved flower her. bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prince. Relax. That was it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Those were kid cartoons before and after.